What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Augie RFC and I want to start this video off with just a question for you guys. Let's say in a theoretical scenario, somebody makes a video talking about you. The video could just be a criticism video, a hate video, a video filled with misinformation or lies, or just a video kind of poking fun at you. It, it doesn't matter, alright? Let's just say somebody makes a video on you. Now, how would you respond to this? Well, there are certain ways you can respond to it. You can make your own response video, debunking the video or responding to it. You could flag the video and get it taken off YouTube, or you could threaten legal action and get it pulled that way and threaten the creator of the video with some good old legal force. Or you could just ignore the video altogether. I would say the first and the last options are the best, typically flagging and threatening legal action. While there are some scenarios where those are the appropriate reactions, most of the time, and I would say like 99.9% .9 of the time, those are not very good options to use at all. Even in the case of flagging, if you're legitimate in your flag, it still just optically is not a good move at all. And I highly recommend creators don't even flag. Well, Deji has decided to take the legal course, a good old fashioned internet lol suit against yours truly Kavos as Kavos was uh, forced to reveal a few days ago I had not covered this story when it first broke on Monday I believe but um I was busy with other things let's go ahead and switch scenes here and take a look so Kavos tweeted out who wants this video tonight showing KSI and Ricegum now somebody in this thread had asked Kavos they've said yo Pierce I'm confused and curious why did you take down your videos on Deji proving he is botting subs Kavos wrote back, due to a legal complaint, I have temporarily privated the videos. The same fan wrote back, was it Deji and his lawyers threatening you? Kavos wrote, all I can say is there has been a complaint and it is ongoing right now, which is really, really bad and insane. It shows that Deji, when he wants to lawyer up, he's actually going to go through with it. And that's not a good thing. That's not an admirable thing. That's not, yeah, go get him, Deji. He lied about you. That is a bitch made thing to do, and it should go without saying. Even if Calvis was 100% wrong in these videos, which by the way, I've got a re upload uh, on YouTube of the first one, the second one, and the third one. And if these re uploads go down, I'll post them up on my channel myself. But if you're gonna sue a guy, even if he lied about you, you gotta have a damn good reason. And to sue a guy for claiming that you sub bought it is just such a crazy, ridiculous allegation. Now, the argument could be made oh, well, if this was true, then YouTube would have to remove Deji's channel because he was sub botting, and that's a violation of policies. I'm sorry, but YouTube is never gonna remove Deji's channel. I, I refuse to believe that that could even be in the realm of possibilities, even if it was proven that Deji was sub botting, which I believe he did, and I'll explain why in just a moment here. Even if it was proven to be true, undeniably, I refuse to believe that YouTube would remove Deji. The dirty secret is that plenty of YouTubers behind the scenes sub bought their channels all the time. I'm not saying I do, obviously, I have 17,000 subs, so I have a sub botting, I'd be up, I'd be at 100k right now, you know what I mean? But I do hear things, and, and it's, you know, it is a, it is such a common occurrence that YouTubers, especially when they get into drama, we, you know, pay a little bit here or there to kind of, Keep their numbers level so that it doesn't look like there's a bunch of red because that's the last thing a YouTuber wants to see in their social blade is a bunch of red numbers. It makes them look bad. It makes their egos hurt. So they'll, you know, behind the scenes, you know, pay a bit, you know, and keep their, get a little boost in their channel. It's also not really that big of a deal. If Deji was subbotting, that, you know, it would be embarrassing. Yeah, we, we would laugh about that. But nobody would actually be morally outraged enough to the point where they'd be like, oh my god, fuck Deji for subbotting. I find Deji threatening legal action over these videos far worse. And by the way, these videos by Kavos weren't just unfounded, you know, allegations where Kavos, you know, speculated that he had subbotted just by looking at his social blade. He actually showed proof of a subbotting company exposing Deji for not paying them for the subs that he had subbotted. Now let's go through this video. Firstly, he shows that from the 22nd of March, Deji bought 10k subscribers, and on the next day, the 23rd of March, he bought 40k subscribers, resulting in over $2,000 worth of botted subs. What's up, guys? This is Thomas from PreviewSocial.com. Many were wondering how did Deji got those 50,000 YouTube subscribers and reach 10 million subscribers milestone. I can confirm that he bought those subscribers and I can confirm that because he bought them from freewaysocial.com which is run by me. Okay guys, so as you can see there were two orders placed by Comedy Shorts Gamer as I have already filtered out the orders. 
On 22nd of March, there was an order placed on Freeway Social website for 10K YouTube subscribers. As you can see, client specified comedy shorts gamer YouTube channel. Deji placed another order on 23rd of March for 40K subscribers. Both orders combined, Deji should receive 50K YouTube subscribers. Which resulted in the 50K subs he needed in order to hit that 10 million. That weird spike that I mentioned in my video. Yeah, and by the way, that spike that he's talking about, we can load up uh, Deji's detailed statistics on Social Blade. And we can go down here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you see this? Total subscribers for Deji. Now, it's been a meme on his channel and on YouTube that Deji just cannot hit 10 million subs, and he's really desperate for it. He started drama with his brother in the hopes that it would boost him, which it did short-term, but the long-term, he started losing again, and he just started uploading non-drama content, but he just couldn't get the boost that he needed. He needed about 50k, and then all of a sudden, randomly, oh, look at that, wait a minute, what the hell, he just randomly hits it, and then right after, loses a bunch of subs again, which just makes absolutely no sense. If you're a YouTuber and you study graphs and, you know, pay attention to other YouTubers' numbers, you would know firsthand that this, the, the, these numbers, they don't add up, they don't make sense at all, this, this, this looks like bullshit right here. You can see an old video I'd made, like, a couple months ago, where I talk about this, where he's, I can show you guys the daily, uh, numbers he was getting. He wasn't getting a spike in views when he was getting this large uh, increase in subscribers. So it just, the whole thing smelled like bullshit. Now, it was possible that a fan could have subbotted his channel. That is highly possible. Or perhaps his family subbotted him without him knowing. But something definitely ain't right about that channel and them numbers. They just do not add up. Now, Deji had gone on to make another video kind of talking about it. And he even made a third video talking about how Deji threatened to get legal action against Kavas. Matter of fact, you can see an old tweet here from uh, Deji's dad. Where Deji Zad wrote, we will be speaking to our legal team in the morning regarding Kavas and Keemstar. Their fans are now coming to our house and harassing us. They had claimed that Kavas had shown a uh, IP address in the video proof of Deji buying subs that had led to their address, which caused fans to come to their house. There are so many lies, so many things have been twisted in this video. And the reason why this is such a big deal now to me, and I'm getting angry about this, because Deji trying to claim this isn't real, is now questioning my credibility and trying to make me seem as if I'm spreading false information. All I've done is research into this and prove every step of the way that Deji has done this. There's even been someone who contacted PayPal with a transaction ID shown in Freeway Social's video asking if there was a real transaction that took place because people are trying to claim even though we proved that the website was functioning since 2017 people are trying to claim the transaction never happened it's been confirmed it happened and confirmed that there's a case against it meaning that there is someone trying to refund the payment how is deji botting subs to hit 10 million so far-fetched to all these deji fans when he f yeah exactly the problem with the lawsuit is that Kavos actually might be screwed. Apparently, from what I'm told, and I'm no legal expert, by the way, but the laws in the UK, you cannot prove that Deji was subbotting by showing them social blade graphs, and, you know, because they're not YouTubers. Like, they're not going to understand. So Kavos might be in for a rough time. He's been tweeting about how, you know, the past couple weeks have been hard on him, and I can't imagine... Uh, it not being an easy road for him, but he might actually end up losing this lawsuit if it goes uh, the way that uh, I'm being told. Again, this is uh, getting into territory that I am not comfortable speaking in because I'm by no means a legal expert. I'm not even close, but it appears that, you know, the, the way this lawsuit is going in the UK by UK law, Kavos might be in for a rough time, which is really the most tragic part of this whole case. Fuck Deji. Seriously, what a piece of shit. Like, even if Kavos was wrong in these videos, you could have respond. You did respond to it, but that wasn't enough. You had to take things to the next level and be the biggest pussy on YouTube. Literally, like, people will lie about you all the time on YouTube. People make videos about you all the time. Either respond to it or ignore it. By taking it to this, you know, legal course of action or whatever, you're just the biggest bitch on the platform. And I think more people need to know this. More people need to know how soy-filled Deji is. He is just completely just... I, I, this actually pisses me off so much because if, you know, somebody gets, you know, the panties in a twist too much and they can just sue you over your YouTube video and they'll actually win because the boomer courts don't understand how YouTube works, that is just so dangerous to a whole other level. Seriously.
Deji needs to get pissed on by the whole community. I mean, people just need to just know this guy is just a complete scumbag. That's all I got for you guys. My name's AugieRFC. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everyone. Be sure to follow Kavos on Twitter and YouTube to be updated on this case. I'm sure he'll have more to say when he's allowed to speak more. Catch you guys later, everyone. Peace out. Thank you.